introducing proxy. This AI assistant that doesn't just give you information, but actually executes your tasks. Here's an example. Hey proxy, go to X and respond to all the recent posts on proxy by convergence. So after this, it's going to perform the action, going to navigate to x.com, getting the recent post, responding to those posts automatically. And that is powerful without any APIs. You can streamline news gathering. Here's an example. Email me a summary of the latest tech news stories. Deploy gorilla campaigns, responding to multiple comments on X. That's an example. You can automate job searches. Search daily for remote freelance developer roles and it can automatically go and search for you. That makes your job search much more easier rather than you going every single day and searching for information. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Go to proxy.convergence.ai, then sign up for an account. Then you'll be presented with a screen like this. There are different example templates provided. For DevOps, you can automate your PR summary, automated PR review, assignment and check-in. You got business templates to automate, company sentiment analysis. For marketing, you got Twitter engagement analysis, getting latest news, competitor analysis, and much more. But now I'm going to give a task. Go to Mervyn Prison X profile and get the latest posts and clicking send. And I've just started it completely for free. You don't need to pay for anything. So now proxy is in action. Now it's searching on Google about my X profile. Now it clicked my X profile and gone into the page. You can see the actions it took. I'll click on the link to Mervyn Prison's X profile. Then it took all the latest information, which I posted. So these are the default posts, which shows on the home screen as latest posts because it's not logged in. But if you log in, it'll get data, which is more reason compared to this. So I can even further say, log into my Twitter and respond to my comments. I ask it to log into X, then it's giving me this option to sign in with Google. As you can see on the browser itself, that's what it shows here. So I'm clicking sign in with Google. My Google account is more restricted. So when I try to resubmit my details, it struggled to do so. Even for a normal person, it will be difficult to log in because it has multiple authentication. If I keep trying, I would have logged in. Instead, I said login to X using username and password instead of Google. And it tried logging using X. I also provided my authentication token. On the right hand side, you can see it got logged into my account. Just because I had too many conversations previously, it went out of context and just got me random posts from my timeline. But I could even further ask, get me my latest tweets. Now it came to my X homepage to get the latest tweets. And I can see the whole page here. And now it got me those details. That is correct. If I want to check my profile post daily, I can even click this automate task. Welcome to automation. Choose a start time, set schedule and stay informed. And I can give a automation name, get my latest post, select time. I can choose multiple days as well. For now, choosing a single time and daily at midnight and the time zone and create automation, selecting UTC and create automation. Now automation successfully created, get my latest post. Now this automation will run every day and get my latest post after login. There is one more thing to note is that if you find hard for it to sign in, you can access that browser by clicking this icon, enter browser, and that will open this window. Using that, you should be able to log in or help this assistant. By having a larger context length, I think this issue of Forgetting towards the end might go away. And overall, I really like this tool, which can automate many of the tasks. And also it's completely browser based and free to get started. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this kind of automation, I also created another video, which is about computer use using DeepSeek R1, which I highly recommend for you to watch. And also you can try that also for free. And I will see you there.